Hi, this is Russ Long with Stormwind Studios, and I wanted to show you something really quick. I feel like it's a kind of cool thing, so I, I wanted to take some time to show you this separate and apart from our VMware course. Uh, one of the cool things about VMware is they give something away for free. You don't see that a lot. So I really wanted to show you how to get a free hypervisor license. Now, a lot of people confuse this with the evaluation license. These are not the same. The evaluation license is fully featured, but expires after about 60 days. The free license is a lot different, and we'll jump into that. Uh, it is unlimited. It never expires, so you can continually use it, and we'll talk about some of the functions you can use that for. But first, let's dive into how you're actually going to uh, access this. It's free, right? So let's get into it. How do I get this free stuff? So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to vmware.com. And when you're at vmware.com, you're going to get to the web page and you're going to look around and you're going to say, Russ, there's nothing that says free on this entire page. I agree. They kind of try and hide it. It's, it's such a good deal. They don't really want you to take a look. If you go to downloads and then product downloads, you'll see that we have vSphere, vSAN, all of the, you know, the, the ecosystem of VMware. If you go to the bottom, you see free product downloads. And once you do, you're going to see the vSphere hypervisor is actually free. This means that you can use ESXi to host virtual machines on bare metal servers simply by installing the hypervisor. Now, it's not as full featured as everything else, but it is free. And you can't, you know, that's never a bad deal. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to click on vSphere hypervisor and it'll take me to the download sections. Let's go to the download now. So what you need to do in order to get access to this free product is make sure you have an account with VMware. It's free to set up. I'm going to use mine. And uh, you see my email there. If you have any questions about VMware, uh, Stormwind students, if you ever have any questions about VMware, you can hit me up directly. Other people, uh, yeah, you can hit me up with questions about VMware, but you should probably uh, take Stormwind's classes. <laughs> we do a really good job here uh, on getting you up to date with the latest technologies, learning how to do your job. It's not just certification here. It's, it's about actually getting the job done. Uh, but uh, enough about that. So here you can see our, our vSphere hypervisor 7.0. We're at the download thing. And you can see that license key right there. That is a free license key. That is my free license key. I got that when I registered for that free hypervisor. So this key right here, that's why I don't have any problem showing it with to you guys. No problem whatsoever. You guys can take a look all you want. Write it down if you want. That is my free hypervisor. Oh, looks like VMware is going into temporary maintenance. That's good timing. We're going to drop over. That, that was great timing that they're going into temporary maintenance because that's how you get your license. You apply it then to your virtual machine, I mean, your hypervisor from your vSphere client, right? When you're, you're actually connected to it. So here are some of the caveats to this free licensing. First off, you're not gonna get any support from VMware. You're not gonna be able to call anyone. There's not 24 seven support. And you know, that's understandable. We're not paying them for their time. So, you know, we're lucky enough to get a free hypervisor. Uh, but we can use the community. Uh, VMUG, forums, there's a couple websites that are really good resources. Uh, you have my email address. So you can reach out in, in, to different people, in this case, to help you out. With the free licensing comes very strict uh, uh, features, right? You're not going to get a fully featured product for free. What you're going to get is a product that can host virtual machines, but it's not going to be manageable with the vCenter server. You're not going to be able to connect up to it and just add it to your enterprise environment and say, hey, look, boss, found a free license. We're good now. Um, no, it's not going to work that way. That would have You have to manage this ESXi box with your browser directly with the IP address or the fully qualified domain name. All the features associated with the vCenter server are stripped out as well. 
you're basically just getting a host. And this is great for a lab environment. If those of you who are like, you know, I want to build a vSphere lab environment, but I can't afford workstation or I don't want to put the money into workstation. This is your option because you can nest virtualize entire environments on this ESXi box that's licensed for free, never expires. So your lab can keep going and going and going. Now, if your lab hosts aren't uh, licensed, they will be in a 60 day evaluation license, which is fully featured, but completely falls apart after 60 days, which is enough time in your lab environment to learn. Or you could sign up for Stormwind and we have labs built for you that you can just use. Uh, we have API limitations on free licensing uh, ob for obvious reasons, right? They don't want you to be able to do very custom and business oriented things on their free license when they're trying to sell a product. Uh, APIs are read only. That's kind of the limitation uh, that I've found. I, I haven't found anything that is writable, um, but the, all the limitations I've found are based on the read only APIs. Uh, there is a max of 480 logical CPUs per host. That's huge. Uh, if you're using free licensing for that, uh, I would say kudos. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that is huge. That's a huge environment to have on a free ESXi host. So have at it. If you can get there, get there. Uh, and email me. I'd love to see the topology. I'd love to see that. Uh, eight virtual CPUs max per virtual machine. Now, I know this is kind of like, ah, that, that's the catch. But if you really think about it, if we are efficient with our resources and our applications and the, the, just the deployment model that we put forth, eight virtual CPUs is not crazy low, especially even these days. It, that's a fairly robust virtual machine you're rolling out with eight virtual machines. I mean, eight virtual CPUs. What's very interesting about this is in 7.0, right here, when they moved to 7.0, they got rid of the RAM and CPU socket limitations, the physical limitations, on the ESXi box you're installing too. So that bare metal server that you're, you're slapping ESXi on top of, they got rid of a lot of the limitations. They got rid of two of the limitations that were a big stop point for free licensing. So you, now you don't have a limit on RAM. It used to be 32 gigabytes. In my lab, in my lab at home where I play with VMware, I have 128 gigs because you just need it, right? We're nesting virtualization. We're doing all sorts of crazy things. 32 gig, gigabytes of RAM was a real limitation on that free license in 6.5. They've removed it in 7.0. That's why I'm so excited about this. Also in 6.5, they had a two physical socket limitation. So you couldn't have more than two physical sockets on a motherboard where you were installing ESXi. They removed it. So now you can have a multi CPU bare metal server running a free ESXi license and any virtual machine running eight, under eight virtual CPUs can run on that box. This is an incredible boost, at least I feel it is especially for those of us who like to play in an environment because free licensing, unlike the evaluation ver version, it never expires. We can use that constantly year after year, and then we can build virtual machines on top of it and nest and do all sorts of stuff. You can even use this in an enterprise environment. You could use this for Active Directory. Now, make sure you're using your backups and you're following best practices. You're not gonna have a central management system. Remember, no VERT vCenter server. But this is a good free utilization of resources that I highly recommend. If you can find a use for your enterprise environment and save your organization a little bit money by not going with a standard license, but going with a free license, don't tell VMware I said this, but do it. Uh, <laughs> you know, you might be saving enough money to get yourself a raise. So uh, that's it for me. Uh, sorry I got a little excited there. Free licensing, anything free always gets me going. Uh, this is Russ Long from Stormwind. I hope you have a great one and happy virtualization, everyone.